All right, you crumb snatchers. Y'all see what time it is. On my new fucking boom box. And the music was loud and clear. And I wasn't in Mario Durrell Evans. Bought you a birthday card. In 1995. Took time out of my busy schedule. Thinking about you. I've been in this trap building for four years. I haven't gotten a birthday card or Christmas or gift. Nothing but problems. Don't worry. The dream is back. It takes two, though, to complete it. Martin Luther King was born 1 15, January the 15th. Yeah, 1929. You understand what I'm saying? See, Oprah was born January the 29th. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got this fucking letter here. These motherfuckers call me a client in my own building. They don't even give me a fucking name. Dear Featherfist Client, there is a maintenance order for you or for your large picture window that is to be completed Monday, September the 20th at 10 o'clock a.m. They put no name on here, no year. Thank you, who? Who? That's what they think about me. Oh, but they did write it on the envelope. And you know what? They put the dash between the mirror and the leaf. So shout out to Paul for doing that. I told him don't forget to put the dash between the mirror and the leaf. Oh, yeah, they trying. They trying. Yeah. But you know how motherfuckers say? Some shit is just a little too late. Real talk. A lot of stuff happened on September the 20th. Somebody fucking died. 1973. Imagine that. They said an author. Yeah. That shit do not fucking goddamn surprise me. Monday. Hopefully they have fixed the goddamn windows. They did put some blinds up. I give them that. Yeah, but I still got cancer. Check out these blinds, though. This shit really excites me. Watch this shit. This is how these blinds work. Look at this shit. You don't even need a string and shit. You understand what I'm saying? I said, well, damn, how do you let the goddamn blinds down? Watch this. Let me see. Just come on down. The price is right. Good shit like that excites me. That's that new shit. See, a lot of motherfuckers had a lot of new inventions and stuff to make life easier. I myself wanted to make life easier for hard-headed, complicated people. But you know, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. You can sober up a, a fucking goddamn horse thief, but you can't stop him from stealing. I was looking at some of the writings that is on these um posters. This one say, Arthur Ashe, a the first black. Davis Cup tennis player. Arthur Ashe. Yeah, they say he died of AIDS. Yeah. You know, they was trying to make me a tennis player. Donna Marie Evans, when I was living in Hyde Park. They had a, you know, tennis court. Yeah, it just wasn't my cup of tea. But, you know, you end up with Arthur Ashe, who has my name for the first black Davis Cup tennis player. And of course you have Venus and Serena. 
Now, I didn't realize my last name, Davis, was a part of Arthur Ashe, and uh, him being the first. I guess everything that I was uh, attempting to do, somebody was, you know, going for it, whether I did it or not, just so I could feel special. I was in this trap building, 6210 South Kimbark Avenue, Chicago, North 60637, apartment 308. Just, you know, kind of perusing the walls and stuff, because I have yet to read all this. And they said he usually be right in, you know, plain sight. And I put this stuff up. I looked at Flojo. You understand what I'm saying? Once called the world's fastest woman. You know, and I was trying to figure out who had smiles on their face. And, you know, she had a smile on her face. But I just kind of overlooked this until, you know, today. Yeah. Plain sight. So one day I'm going to take the time out to really, you know, read this. Because, you know, I can just imagine all the people who got my book, Rhymes, Poems, and Metaphors, plus one song did not read it and probably wish they had read it to avoid a lot of the stuff that's taking place now. Anyway, nothing happens in this world by mistake, right? So, I woke up from a little cat nap and, you know, Mario is always on my mind because, you know, I feel as though he's the main one that and sending me through all this rhetoric. You know what I'm saying? I'm still not giving y'all anything as far as payment. You understand? I want to see what Christmas got to hold. You know, they kicked me out in Uptown. It was dead of winter. I remember standing on King Drive. Talked about Martin Luther King, right? On 55th and King Drive, with nowhere to go, I was freezing literally kind of just stuck on stupid i got this saying i am stuck on stupid because stupid stuck on me you understand what i'm saying that's that old band-aid uh theme song i am stuck on band-aids because band-aids stuck on me i just switched the words around that's all but yeah i had nowhere to go because they had kicked me out and I was standing on 55th and King Drive in my city, Chicago. Nowhere to go. Catching pneumonia when I got here. I know I had it. It has um, left my um, chest. But, uh, you know, I still got the cancer they gave me in 2016. That I do know. I'm not giving you no goddamn fucking goddamn money, though. No, sure the fuck ain't. They can fix this motherfucker all the way like it once was. I just refuse to do it. Take me to court. You know, real talk. If it makes you feel better. Real talk. Now, maybe if they do all the fucking shit they're supposed to do, like fix the elevator. Because I this they have elderly people in this uh, building. The elevator supposed to be fixed. It's a government building. I'm on the third floor. I be carrying shit tired as fuck and shit. You understand what I'm saying? I don't know why they think I'm as young as they are. You understand what I'm saying? Just because I got a fucking goddamn little youth about myself. You know, I still got a little youth and determination. Yep. Yeah, so, you know, if they fix this window, cool, no problem. But, uh, never know. Death might knock on my door that day. You understand? So I figure I'll do this video. Just in case. I'll put the description of all the things that happened September the 20th. Uh, T.I. birthday is on September 25th, and some other stuff happened on September 25th that's monumental i keep forgetting but i do know that's too close for comfort you understand what i'm saying real fucking talk and i do know him and my so-called step son mario Durevans. 
had to have known each other because T.I.'s significant other name is Tiny and, you know, Mario, you know, had a auntie nicknamed by the name of Tiny and T.I.'s um, CD, I'm Serious, you know, he had reference, you know, Mario in, um, you know, when I read the, the leaflet or whatever that came with the CD. You know, so nothing happens in this world by mistake. Long story short, I'm sick of all you motherfuckers, quiet as kept. So, we gonna find out what's really going on. Either way, today is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. You no good motherfuckers. All right. Peace.